how much do you want to bet there was a marketing guy out there who wanted to put on the poster, no games this time. Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Welcome, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you tuning in. Before I jump into the video itself, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. I am trying to grow our little community of very warm and loving people who just want to nerd out in pop culture and I appreciate every single one of you. And also feel free to follow my socials where I post updates as well as, you know, stupid little life stuff. Housekeeping out of the way, when it comes to Game of Thrones, I was one of those people who watched it every single Sunday night when it aired, and I I loved that show intensely until the final season, and in the final season, I was pretty disappointed. I'm not one of those people who just hates it outright, but I was disappointed, and I won't get into what I was disappointed with and the things I liked and the things I didn't. But the point being that I am a person who I'm kind of a hard sell, not a completely hard sell though, because I think this world is very rich and I think there's a lot of story to tell here. In fact, even that last season aside, Game of Thrones is one of the best series ever made. And I have to think there is more you can do in this world. So I'm kind of excited for this show, but also apprehensive. That said, let's pull off the band-aid and watch this. With 10 adult dragons under its yoke. No power in the world could stand against it. Dead. Rhaenys, a woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. Of course not. For he knew the cold truth. The only thing that could tear down the House of the Dragon was itself. Good setup. Such a good setup. I didn't realize how much I missed this world until I started hearing the theme, seeing this visual. Oh, wow. Granted, I'm a little heartbroken thinking about the last time I saw King's Landing, but. Welcome back, Princess. I trust your ride was pleasant. Try not to look too relieved, sir. <laughs> I am relieved. Every time that golden beast brings you back unspoiled. Saves my head from a spike. <laughs> Man, that has to have a high mortality rate. This discomfort is how we serve the realm. I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to fashion and glory. Hmm. <laughs> we must learn to face it with a stiff lip. Now take a bath, you stink of dragon. I was visiting another. On Dragonbank? Hey, your grace, at Prince Damon's hmm. urging, the crown has invested... Sparrow to Rivo Segao Marquebus. Bohos or demon? In case you knew what Demi was imaginary or something. <laughs> I like her already. They are searching the text for similar cases. It's a small cut from sitting the throne. It's nothing. We should lead you to Grandmaker. It's a wound that refuses to heal, Grandmaster. Might I suggest cauterization? Whatever it is. This is how he's gonna die. I wouldn't be surprised if I hatched an actual dragon. Hmm. And he will be loved and cherished. Rhaenyra has already declared that she's to have a sister. You do understand that nothing will cause the babe to grow a cock if it does not already possess it. <laughs> this child is a boy, am I? Okay, he seems like a really kind king, so I know he's not gonna <laughs> survive very long. Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. Okay. Uh, I knew he was gonna be the bad guy, but he already likes power. So essentially, if you're pouring on the street, he's just killing you. No, 
has been good. I gotta cannot think be some of them deserve kind of unchecked impunity. bad things. I agree. I just hope you don't have to maim half of my city to achieve this. Time will tell. We installed Prince Damon as commander to promote law and order. Your own lady wife passed recently. Mm. Did she not? Otto. My apologies, Your Grace. Yeah, you this should be really reprimanding your brother. At great brother. expense, bettered the city watch to your exacting standards. Putting criminals on notice, I get, but that was this new city watch. Way too far. Might be a good thing. Has been made more auspicious by the news that I am happy to share. In trouble. I really want to see him lose just to get taken down a notch, but I don't see it happening. You know, that's got to be frowned upon. Oh, that's his dog. <laughs> I didn't realize that. She's fighting with all her might, but it may not be enough. No. Emma. They're going to lose both, and then Emma. he's going to die. I'm here. And the day grows ugly. save the child we must either act now or leave it with the gods that is an impossible choice that's such an impossible choice Kill him anyway. No. Congratulations, Your Grace. It's a girl. You have a son. Oh no! He got what he wanted. <laughs> kind of. That's what I thought. He started choking. If Damon were to remain the uncontested heir, it could destabilize the realm. The realm? Or this council? The City Watch is fiercely loyal to him. An army 2,000 strong. An army you gave him, Otto. I named Damon Master of Laws, but you said he was a tyrant. Damon has ambition, yes, but not for the throne. He lacks the patience for it. Huh. The gods have yet to make a man who lacks the patience for absolute power, Your Grace. Rhaenys was the only child of Jaehaerys' eldest son. She had a strong claim at the Great Council. If we cannot agree on an heir, then how can we My expect a realm? My wife and son are dead! I will not sit here and suffer crows that come to feast on their corpses! Bad timing, guys. Just horrible timing. Offer him comfort. In his chambers. What? 
I wouldn't know what to say. Stop that. You might wear one of your mother's dresses. <sighs> and here I almost like this guy. Halon. The king's son. Styling him. The heir for a day. But instead of being by my side or near us, you chose to celebrate your own rise! Laughing with your whores and your leg spittles! Then why do you cut me so deep? I've only ever spoken the truth. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. An unwavering and loyal A hand. A cunt! A second son. You're weak, Viserys. And that council of leeches knows it. They all prey on you for their own ends. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. <laughs> the throne is actually poisoning him. When you look at the dragons, what do you see? Things massive. What? You haven't spoken a word to me since Mother's funeral. Everyone says Targaryens are closer to gods than to men. But they say that because of our dragons. Without them, we're just like everyone else. Targaryen must understand this to be king. Or queen. Hmm. Damon was not made to wear the crown. But I believe that you were. He's not going to take this lying I down. Call his Valarian. And just as Danis foresaw the end of Valyria, Aegon foresaw the end of the world of men. Just oh. to begin with a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north. All of Westeros must stand against it. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. A king or queen, strong enough to unite the realm against the cold. Now you must promise to carry it and protect it. Promise me the truth. What a great start. I, I really enjoy this. I am very happy that it, it really stuck the landing for me. It reminds me a lot of the original pilot for Game of Thrones, that first episode where I remember watching it and thinking, oh, this is pretty good. I'm not hugely sold on the characters yet. I like the world. Let's see where this goes. You know, flash forward several years and I was watching it every Sunday with bated breath. And I have that same feeling here where it's like, okay, I really like this. I love the world. I I'm getting to know the characters. Let's see where this goes. And I mean that in the most positive way I possibly could. This was a very much a setup episode. It was letting you know the players. It was letting you know the stakes. And there were a lot of things that foreshadowed events to come. The, the king's not long for this world. There is no way. He's got that sore on his back. Keeps cutting himself on the throne. The throne is poisoning him. That, that is my assumption. The throne is actually poisoning him. And something will have to happen to the throne to probably fix that from not happening anymore. Regardless, I, I think he's not long for this world and of course his brother i i see a revolution coming I, I see him trying to usurp the throne and doing it by bloody means i did not watch the coming soon or anything like that on game of thrones so i have no idea what it showed in that trailer by the way so i i know it was there and i purposely did not watch it so for all i know that trailer actually you know says the things i'm saying right now oh yeah it, it shows that he becomes i don't want to know i don't want to know I, i'd rather find out while i'm watching episodes and I love the setup at the beginning that actually said, you know, the thing that will tear down the House Targaryen is the House Targaryen. And that is exactly what we're watching right now. And I'm, I'm in. I'm in so far. Let's see where this goes. All right. What did you think of this first episode? Were you like me and going into this pretty apprehensive? Are you feeling good about where this is going so far? Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely, and I appreciate it a whole, whole bunch. All right, and before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves 
and please take care of each other. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.